Yeah, thanks very much, Presiding Officer. Well, this motion of no confidence is the most shameless, cynical and desperate stunt by the Tories that I've seen yet in this chamber. And on the very day, that, on the very day that their leadership fell apart at Westminster, amongst the lies of Boris Johnson, they lodged this motion in a pathetic attempt to distract everyone from the dying days of their government. And the audacity of this motion, the absolute brass neck of it, beggars belief. Because it was the Tories who scuppered the DRS scheme. They forced the removal of glass which the scheme was built around. And they set the conditions on its operation that are impossible to plan for. And now they're trying to gaslight Scotland into believing it was somehow Lorna Slater's fault all along. It is absurd, presiding officer. Now we can expect this kind of rank opportunism from the Tories. Absolutely. But what about Labour? I urge every Labour and Liberal Democrat MSP in this chamber to think long and hard about what they're voting for and who they're lining up with to do it. For, for this is not just an attack on Lorna Slater. It's an attack on everyone who believes in devolution. Thank you. Sarah, if, if Sarah Boyack, she's shaking her head, if Sarah Boyack doesn't believe me, then listen to Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford, who recognises this power grab for exactly what it is. Now, presiding officer, it is, it is important... It is important to reflect on the qualities which good ministers have in abundance. The ability to show determination is important, but so is the ability to listen, to understand how policy affects people and business, Let's and to respond Mr. with humility to concerns with improvements. Now, Lorna Slater has been tasked by this Parliament with bringing in one of the most ambitious DRS schemes in Europe. She spent the last 18 months listening, responding, and revising the scheme. And we now have a DRS that has been designed and shaped by business itself. It sets the model for the UK. And Lorna Slater deserves huge credit for getting it to the point of launch Mr. only Ruskell, for the Tories to step Mr. in. Mr Ruskell, if you could just... I'm finding it very difficult to hear Mr Ruskell. I'd be grateful if we could hear Mr Ruskell. Please refrain from commenting. Mr Ruskell. We can contrast the actions of Lorna Slater with the disgraceful actions of Alistair Jack, who as Secretary of State stood up in the House of Commons and completely misrepresented our deposit return scheme. Alistair Jack and his fellow ministers have acted with disdain for Scottish business, contempt for the years of work to design and invest in a DRS scheme for Scotland. They have not listened, they have not compromised, and refuse even now to provide the certainty that business needs to go forward. And last night, Jack wouldn't even vote to censure Boris Johnson for breaking almost every rule in the book. Absolutely. Instead, he stood right with him to the shameful end. If anyone should be resigning, it is him. Thank you. Now, I'm proud of my minister, Lorna Slater. She's not only brought DRS to the point of launch, She's increased investment in nature. She's banned new waste incinerators. She's brought forward a circular economy bill to cut littering in waste. And she's delivering Scotland's first new national park in a generation. She's a doer, a renewables engineer with real world experience in industry. We are lucky to have her. And yet the disrespect Mr. and Russell. lack of courtesy, even now shown by some members in this chamber, has at times disgusted me. This parliament needs more Lorna Slaters. And so does this government. So get used to her, because she's just getting started and has barely even begun to deliver the transformative agenda of the Greens in government. She's not going anywhere but forward tonight.